Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm CB Harris, and today I'm going to do a little bit different type of video. It's not the typical video that I do. Today I'm going to do a full disassembly on a Glock 43. There are some subtle differences between a Glock 43 disassembly and your standard Glock. Uh, if you own a Glock, you probably know all, you know, how to tear it apart all the way down to, you know, every last part. Most Glock owners do. They're fairly simple. There are some subtle differences between a 43 and a normal Glock. Um, I honestly, I don't know if there are the same differences between the 42. I, I don't have a 42. I'm not really a big fan of a 380, so I don't know. I've never done it. So there might be some differences too. So first thing you need to do, clear your firearm, make sure that everything's good to go there. Check the chamber and it is good. Of course, trigger down. And what we're going to do, we're just going to field strip it really. So we get down to all these basic parts and we're going to set aside the barrel and the guide rod, move those out of the way. Now, I know that with Glocks you really only need a punch to uh, disassemble, but we're going to add a couple of extra tools here this time for the 43. I've got this small little pick, metal pick. I don't know if a plastic one would work, I think it would. Um, and I'm going to use a little flat tip screwdriver as well. These two extra pieces really only need to be used when you're disassembling the frame. Uh, the, the disassembly of the slide is essentially the same as it is on any Glock. So really it's, it's a matter of how things look. There are some parts that look a little bit different, but other than that, it's essentially it's the same disassembly. So here's what we got. We're going to pop off the back. Glad that spring didn't come flying out of there and poke me in the eye. It is essentially the same. The firing pin safety does look a little bit different. Um, it's got a different geometry to it, different shape, and it's just a little bit different. But it essentially works the same, and all of these parts work the same as any standard Glock. So if you know how to take apart a standard Glock slide, you've got this down other than making sure that you understand that this is actually, it only goes in one way, okay? I don't know if you can see the shape of it there. It has a rounder side and a flatter side. The flatter side goes out towards the outboard side of the slide. So we'll just reassemble this real quick and it reassembles reverse order just as a standard Glock does. Okay, so that's reassembled. If you wanted to clean it, do all the standard polishing up of parts that uh, a lot of people like to do to make the trigger just a little bit more smooth. It doesn't really, wouldn't call it a trigger job, but it makes it a little more smooth. You can do all that stuff to this as well. So that's how you disassemble it for that. It's fairly standard. So the differences on the frame disassembly, there are some differences, and some of them are pretty important to know. Um, the appearance, it does look a little different. There's only two pins instead of the third, but essentially you do the same thing here. So we're gonna pop this one out first. Pop that out. Now, taking this pin out is a little different. Do not, do not take a hammer to this because this is gonna be tight. You're not gonna just push this out with hand pressure like a normal Glock pin we would be able to do. The problem is the slide stop lever actually pops up a little bit and this is a design feature and it fits into a slot in that pin. So if you try to beat on this thing, it's not gonna come out, you're just gonna hurt something, you're gonna damage it. 
that's where this uh, screwdriver tool is going to come in. We're going to push down on this a little bit. We just need to, to push down a little bit and it will free up and allow that pin to be pushed out. All right. So once you push down on that, you'll be able to pull the pin out as normal. And here's what I'm talking about. That slot, which there's one on both sides, so this can be reversed. It, it doesn't matter. But the slide lock actually fits in that. So you don't want to go beating on this or you're going to mess something up. Okay. The locking block pops out the same, same way. You can just pop it right on out of there. And here is why it's a little bit different. See, I do know that the uh, Glock 42 has this also. We have a coil spring in here. This hole right here, it kind of pops up and it rides in this little groove, okay? It's uh, a little subtle, but it's a, an important difference. You can then easily pull out the trigger, trigger bar, and trigger housing assembly all as one piece. There's a couple of differences here. It doesn't have the normal coil spring attached to the front there of the cruciform. Instead, I don't know if you can see it. We'll pop this out. Hopefully you guys can see it. We've got this little tab. And I hope that's focusing. All right. It's got this little tab here. And let's see if I can pop that up so you can see it. You guys can see it at all. And what we do is the, uh, the back section, the cruciform actually fits in that slot. And it, it still provides the same spring pressure. It's just a little bit different. No big deal, but when you're reassembling it, you need to make sure that the back part of the cruise form actually goes underneath that little J-shaped hook. Okay? I'm sure there's a technical name, but I'm going to just call it the J-shaped hook. All right, so all of this is the same. Again, you can polish all those pieces, parts, everything like that. Um, this pops, uh, the connector pops off the same. You can push it from the far side there, and it pops out the exact same way. So all of that is uh, essentially the same. I mean, there's a few subtle differences. Uh, this is a big difference for me. This does not just have a flat spring that you can just push down and pop out our disassembly uh, bar here. So this is where this this is where this little scribe comes in handy. If you put it in one side, I found it easier to use my right hand, so I go from the right side and ride right along the top. You can grab a hold. It's a coil spring that's in there, and you need to pull that coil spring down and then push it, and then push the slide lock to the side, and then you can pull it out of there. See if you can see we have a coil spring in there this time, and it is really difficult to get to. It's got this little piece of plastic here, this form, and one on this side as well, and you can't get to it. So it makes it a little bit more difficult to maneuver there. And then reassembly is pretty simple. You just you can reach in there with your you can reach in there with your pick and then push down on that spring and slide it back in. Make sure you slide it back in the right way. Um, it still needs to have this little groove needs to be facing to the rear. I reach in and grab that. Maybe. It's being a bear today. All right. And then I can ride that back in there and slide it into place. So that's another subtle difference. But it's important to know because if you need to take that out to clean it, because they do get gunked up sometimes, um, you need to understand that it is not a flat spring to do that. So reassembly, essentially, it's reverse order again. Just like any other Glock, you just go in reverse order and you should be fine. This, like I said, well, you need to get that section under that lip. And hopefully you guys can see it, what I'm talking about here. It'll focus. Yeah. The cruise form needs to go in its little slot at the back side right here. Does that, everything is fine. And that's what's going to give you the spring pressure that you need. All right. Reassembly, just pop that into place. We need to put our slide stop lever back into place. And it has a nice little spot for that coil spring to fit, so it's really easy to line up. It's a, just make sure it's far enough forward 
that it's in its proper spot. Otherwise, the holes won't line up. We put our block back into place. And what I like to do, I actually have another screwdriver I'm going to use, but you don't have to. I just put it in there because I can push down on it. And when I put this pin back into place, you just basically push the screwdriver out and back into place. Make sure you go until it, you hear it click back into place, okay? And then we can put our rear pin back in as well. And finally, we're going to reassemble everything. I always like to function test when I'm done. Make sure everything's working properly. Pull the trigger. Okay, that works properly. Make sure it doesn't come back forward after you release it. Then I hold it to the rear, rack the slide, make sure you get a proper reset, trigger pull. Do that a couple times and you know that it's good to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down in the comments section below. And if you'd like to be a subscriber, click on the subscribe button. Be sure to check us out on social media. Be sure to come back every Thursday for new videos. And you can check out all of our old videos at the channel. Until next time, take care and be safe.